Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the brand new and limited edition Chanel Chance perfume pencils. Now this beautiful, aesthetically pleasing set is our item of topic today. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Okay. So I did buy this for myself for my birthday. It was part of my video of luxury items I bought myself for my birthday. And I bought this on the Chanel Canada website. I have not seen it in department stores. I think it might be coming out later or it already is available now, but I bought mine in early to mid January. So let's go ahead and read off some of the description on the website. This retails at 99 Canadian plus tax and includes four pencils of 1.2 grams of product each. This set contains Chanel Chance, Chanel Chance Au Tendre, Chanel Chance Au Fraiche, and Chanel Chance Au Vive. I know that the Chanel Chance comes in both Eau de Parfum and Eau de Toilette format, but I think it's perfectly fine to just have one version in here because I think having both options would have been redundant. Okay, so the description reads as a solid fragrance in a unique format. The Chanel Chance perfume pencils featured in a discovery set offer a new way to tempt your chance. The balm texture glides onto the skin with a stroke of an astonishingly soft, incredible sensorial tip. Sorry. And it says a gesture that revives the trail of a fragrance all day long. The ideal on the go solution for use at any time of day. So on the back of the box here, it clearly indicates do not put this on your eyes or your lips. You have a little logo here of someone applying it around their neck and also on their wrists, but it also clearly says don't use this as lipstick or eyeliner. Now, I always find these types of instructions funny because it means that someone has tried to do it. I mean, it sounds silly to us that someone might take a perfume pencil and try to use it as eyeliner, but if they indicate that you shouldn't do it, that means someone has tried. So I just want to recap something that was in the description here. It says a gesture that revives the trail of a fragrance all day long and the ideal on the go solution for use of any time of day. So those words to me mean that this is intended to be used as a touch up or on the go item. I don't think that this is intended to be your base perfume or base fragrance just that wordage to me means that this is supposed to go in your purse and you're supposed to just reapply as you wish now when we look at these individual pencil perfumes you can see that the waxy part the part where you rub onto your skin is tinted the same color as the actual perfume pencils and the perfume pencils match their perfume so with Ofrage, we know it's the green one, so it matches the Ofrage perfume. I find that to be a nice little touch and just like a nice little extra packaging detail where they also added coloring to the actual waxy stick part. Now these all work the exact same where you have a twisting mechanism down here, which leads to more product up here. I do have to say that for some reason it feels a little bit wobbly. I don't know how to describe it, but there's some twisting makeup products or beauty products that you can kind of feel like a rattling around and i feel like with this one i can feel it in all of them a little bit let me see if you can pick up on the sound so that's the sound of the product rattling and they all kind of have the same thing going for it so i'm not sure what that's about that being said it also doesn't fall out you think that with that weird rattling shaking sound that the product would fall out, but it's clearly safely in place. It's just loosened up a little bit, I don't know. Okay, so I have been testing out these perfume pencils individually and also mixing them up on different days. And here are some surprising revelations. So personally, I love Chanel Chance, the classic uh, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, the Hermes. That is, I think, my favorite. It's just so clean and fresh. And my second favorite is Eau Tendre, the pink one. It's bubbly and sparkly. And I find that on me, these two don't last. The stick versions of the classic Chance and the Chance Eau Tendre on me, they don't last very long, maybe half an hour to an hour. Like they really don't linger a very long time. 
I tried applying it on my wrists, on the inside of my arm or on my neck, and they just don't really seem to stay on me for some reason. However, the Chance Au Vive and Chance Au Fraiche have total different reactions on my skin type, which is different because in real life, the Chance Au Vive is practically invisible on me. I own Chance Au Vive and I never wear it because it doesn't matter how much I spray, it never stays on me. I can douse myself in this perfume and it never lingers. However, in the stick format, when I apply it, it lingers for a few hours. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that, that was a revelation. And the Eau Fraiche, I like the real perfume version and I find that the stick version stays on a long time. For some reason, the Eau Vive and Eau Fraiche on my skin, on my pH, just lasted much longer than the Chance and the Eau Tendre. I'm not sure what that is about, but that's just what I've discovered. Perfume can be very tricky in that sense because two people can wear the same perfume and it can react so differently on your skin's pH. Your skin pH will really determine what a perfume wears like on you, how long it stays on you, which notes are more pronounced. I don't know why, but it's it just the way it is. And for some reason in this little uh, quattro here, the Eau Vive and Eau Fraiche stay on longer and the Classic Chance and the Eau Tendre don't really stay very long. Okay, with that being said, would I recommend this product to you? So here's the thing, it is $100 before taxes. It is also limited edition. If you love Chance, let's say you are a Chance girl, you have a lot of the fragrances, etc. I would recommend going with the Hair Mists. A Hair Mist is beautiful, hold on. I have this one here in the back on my display. This is the Classic Chance Hair Mist. It is so beautiful and breathtaking. I think this is around 60 or 70 before taxes, so it's much more affordable than the pencils. And if you are someone who likes any one of these four Chance perfumes and you're looking for something extra, go with the hair mist. I find you get a lot more bang for your buck. I find that the hair mist just lasts much longer. I have it in the Chance, I have it in the Allure, and also I have it in the Coco Noir, and they all just last longer, like a few hours. So if you're looking for a perfume touch-up throughout the day, I find that a hair mist is a much better investment. Also, if you're someone who cannot wear strong perfumes because of your work or your environment and you can't really wear a real perfume, sometimes a hair mist is a good idea because it is much softer and more diffused. Also, let's not forget that there are body lotions, body washes, body butters, things like that. I would definitely recommend that entire line before recommending the Chance pencils. If you are someone who has the entire collection, if you have the hair mist and you have the bubble bath and the body powder and the, you know, if you have everything, then go ahead and get it because it, it is limited edition and it is aesthetically pleasing. This is so beautiful. It reminds me of a matchbox and even though it isn't as wow as I would like it to be, this still brings me joy. I find it so beautiful. I find the packaging just so aesthetically pleasing. So I'm still happy that I bought it, but I don't think it's going to be for everyone. So if you happen to like any one of these four perfumes, go with a hair mist, go with a body butter, etc. before you get this. But if you already have everything, this is for you. I think this is for the woman who already has everything and just wants a little something extra. This is what I would go for. All right, I think this about does it for the video. I hope this was informative for you guys. I hope this is also available in other countries. I know recently Chanel has been launching stuff in Canada first, which was shocking to me because usually we're the last on the list, but glad to know the Commonwealth is getting some recognition here. 
So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think of today's video. Have you tried the Chanel Chance perfume pencils? Do you have a favorite perfume from Chanel? Is it one of these ones here or something different? Let us know down in the comments. If you happen to enjoy today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I post a lot of luxury reviews and tutorials here on my channel, so stick around and join our community. Okay, this is all I have for you guys for today, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.